This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello! The 15 puzzle is a classic sliding puzzle that consists of a uh, 4 on 4 grid with 15 numbered square tiles and one empty space. The objective is to rearrange the tiles from a scrambled initial state into a, num into a numerical order 1 to 15 left to right top to bottom by sliding them into the empty space. So objective of the game is to arrange the tiles in ascending order with the empty space in the bottom right corner. There are 15 factorial that is 1.3 trillion possible tile arrangements but only half are slowable. In this project I will present you an electronic version of this puzzle which also has many useful improvements and options compared to the original mechanical version. The game is played on a color touch sensitive display uh, so there is no sticking or difficult movement of the tiles which is a common case with the mechanical versions. The harder part is extremely simple and consists of only three components. ESP32 development board, next 3.2 inch TFT LCD display, ILI9341 driver with touch screen, and small buzzer. It is very important to emphasize that if you use the display connection to the microcontroller uh, in an identical way as in the given schematic diagram, then you must also use the given TFT ESPI library adapted specifically for this project. Also, don't forget to tell you that I compiled the code with Arduino IDE version 1.8.16 and more import importantly ESP32 core version 2.0.4. First I will describe how to join as well as the options in the game. After turning on the device, a guide to calibrating the touch screen appears on the display. This is important because the game itself is played by touching the screen and it is crucial that, is, that it is well calibrated. We perform the calibrating by pressing the four corners of the display uh, in the specific order. Uh, then the name of the game appears and we start the game by pressing the button. The playing field takes up most of the display and on, on the right side uh, there are three control information buttons. The top button, the top button displays the current number or of moves moves played. In fact, we monitor the course and success of the game. Namely, the goal of the game is to arrange the numbers in a few uh, in as few moves as possible. Uh, with the middle button, we can choose one of the five colors of the board we are playing on. Uh, this is a particularly useful option and we can use it at any moment of the game without affecting the result. And the bottom button is also used to start a new game. Uh, this button is functional both at the beginning and at any moment of the current game if we get stuck 
with some positions, which is with each press of this button, a new game is randomly generated so we can choose a game that uh, less visually seems easier to slow. All touches on the screen are accompanied by, by appropriate sound which makes playing easier and more interesting. Finally, when we finish the game, a screen appears with information showing how many steps the puzzle was loafed in, as well as a button to start a new game. Puzzles loafed in a hundred moves and we can touch anywhere to the screen to start a new game. Now I will present you with a few uh, shortened versions of gameplay. Just a few words about the code. You can see that it is designed in a way that allows you to easily change most parameters from tile spacing and size to adjusting the sounds and colors in the game. And finally a short conclusion. This is an extremely simple way to make this fun puzzle game which only requires three components and will provide you with many hours of fun. <laughs>